All right, so some exciting stuff going on at the park today. So it looks like all of Fox's equipment has arrived on site. We have two machines, one crane, and one giant flatbed, all for Fox, all labeled by Fox. And what's even more exciting is they are, well, it appears to look like they're about to start moving all this track and supports into the park. Um, my prediction is, and it could be wrong, is they're going to move it in tonight after the park closes, and then they're going to go take the weekend off. And then they're going to be ready for vertical on Tuesday. Since it's a long weekend in Canada, they will not be doing construction on Monday. Uh, they'll be doing uh, construction on Tuesday. And they are definitely ready uh, to start vertical. All the bolts, all the um, plates for the footings are installed, ready to go. They did all their measurements yesterday. It looks like everything's good to go as they left at around 2 p.m. today. And I'm assuming they're going to be back. Uh, to move this into the park. Again, they can't move this giant flatbed truck into the park during park operating hours because there's guest pathways literally enclosing the construction site and moving a giant flatbed is just disruptive to the operations. So I definitely suspect that they'll move it in tonight and that they'll move it in in mornings or, or nights on actual work days. But they loaded this today for a reason. The windows on the truck were down and the crew were not there. So I'm assuming that um, th they definitely were going to leave the windows down with rain coming in on the truck, that they're coming back after the park closes and moving it in. We also know that another shipment is arriving as well. Now, we have some potentially um, upsetting news and slash good news, um, depending on how you look at it. So the good news is, um, in my opinion, this is good news, is we now can confirm the coaster is as tall as Val Raven. Um, if anything, it might just be a foot or two foot, two feet less tall than Val Raven. Now, a lot of you might be upset by that, but what is exciting is just because it is the same height as Valraven does not mean, sorry, I shouldn't even word it that way. It means, and it does mean, this coaster will have a larger drop than Valraven. We already knew this was the case based off of the blueprints and how far this coaster goes and how far it comes back. It has a large pot of land to work over. So either there were two options here, either it wasn't going to have a mid-course break run and it wasn't going to trim the coaster to death like Val Raven, where it literally goes through an inland loop and then smashes into the MCBR and loses all that force the coaster has after that awesome drop, or it was going to be taller or a larger drop. Now, the exciting news is about that. We can't confirm that there are not more supports on their way. So basically using L6 and L7, we were able to locate L7. Um, column 7 is the most important support structure for this coaster, as discussed in yesterday's video. Column 7 is the column that supports the very turn at the top. So, and it is completely vertical, no A-frame whatsoever, and no tilt to it. So with that, we're able to determine the actual height of the support structure. Each column is 60 feet long. We measured it out. We measured it with our foot, um, and it, it, we measured it along. It's along the fence. Very simple. And then they had a 30-foot support column 7, just like Valraven, a slightly shorter piece at the top. Um, so it, it with a slightly more than 30 feet uh, foot, so it's like 40-foot support column and then 360 support columns, you're up there with Valraven, including the track height and the height of the footer and all that. Now, what we're hoping for is um, a fifth column. So as you can see there, there's column 4 for column 7. Um and it, again, very important that there's four columns. That's what we said in our other video. We needed four. All we need now to be taller is one more, and we know there's another shipment arriving tonight. So we're going to keep a very close eye on um, whether column another column seven arrives. If another column seven arrives, it will be taller than Val Raven, and we can confirm that. So all we're looking for is another column seven. Column seven five is what we're looking for. Um, so now let's get to this whole teaser poster. So we know that um, a little eagle appeared on a teaser poster today, all the teaser posters, and um, I'm here to confirm that's not a red herring. Um, the teaser posters on the um, fence are literally designed for the general public. They're not designed for enthusiasts, and they are to lead the guests to the right direction of the coaster. Um, so there's a couple things that could be going on here. It could be hinting at Ziz. Yes, it could be. But in my opinion, why would they use an eagle if they were going to hint at Ziz. I, I just don't see the connection. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this coaster is going to be, one, taller than Valraven? Are you hoping for that fifth support column to arrive? And two, do you think it's going to be Ziz, or do you think it's going to be something else? 
I want you guys to comment down below what you think, and in a video released shortly, we will discuss the teaser in a whole. Um, we're going to discuss the correlation of Vortex to the retheming of this new coaster. Sorry, I used the word retheming, but to the theming of this new coaster. There's a direct link between the two, and we are definitely mixing up a few things. I think it's very important to notice what happened to Vortex this season and what might happen to this new coaster and how it relates. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.